So now what we're going to do is I have, um, see my, if I have my hi-hats there. Cool. I'm going to go down here. This area right here where it says pattern. Okay. First, I'm going to turn on the sequencer. Hit this button right here. I'm going to go down the pattern. I'm going to hold it down for a blank sequence. You'll know it's blank because it won't have SQ next to it. Okay. Anything that has SQ is already a pre-programmed sequence within UltraBeat. And now you can see right here, you have a lot of blank patterns you can use. All right. And you can copy and paste also these patterns. All right. So I'm going to go here. This pattern is called D negative one, which means that this pattern actually resides on your MIDI keyboard at D negative one. And we'll get into that later what that means, because you can trigger these patterns from one key each off your keyboard. If you want to, if you want to just basically record your sequence patterns in real time as logic is, is rolling. All right. So, um, I'm going to hit D negative one, and we're going to start with a new pattern. I hit play. There's nothing there. I'm going to go to logic, make sure my tempo is at a tempo that I want to use. So I'm at 90. I'll go a little bit lower. We'll go to like 88. Okay. What I'm going to do is you're not playing these in real time as you're making the making your beat. You're actually just inputting your step. You're basically step editing like old school. You're inputting. So let me go to the kick here. And I'm going to do a kick on the one. I'm going to do one right here. I'm going to do one right here and right here. Now I'm going to go to clap. I'm going to add a clap to, let me see, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, right here, and here, right here. I'm going to go to hi-hat, and I'm just going to do a straight up uh, 16th pattern. I'm going to hit, I'm going to hold down a one and drag across. Now I'm going to hit play. Doesn't get much easier than that. I created a simple beat very quickly. Nice. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep that that beat, and I'm going to now go down here to where the patterns patterns are, and I am going to right click on that pattern, which is number three. It's D negative one. I'm going to copy. Now I'm going to hold down this um, drop down menu and go to four, which is also an empty pattern. I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste. Now I have that pattern, that same sequence on two different patterns. I have it on number three and number four, except on number four, I'm going to add other instrumentation to it to make the pattern just a little bit different. As the song is building, it'll have different, you know, different elements that come in and out of the track. So let me see, what do I have here already? All right, I have a, like a crash symbol. Basically, it's like an 808 hip hop type of crash symbol. I'm gonna add that on the one, and I'm gonna go up here, my next sample. Let me, let me write crash, CRS, I abbreviate it. What's on five here? Sample five. Let's mute it out. I'm gonna mute it. All right, so we have that. I mean, yeah, this. Nice, let's use that. It's like a, oh, like an orchestra hit. All right, we're gonna use the orchestra hit. Um, we have right here a synth. Let's use the orchestra hit. So we'll go like this. We'll highlight orchestra hit. We'll go down here. We'll start plotting it in. So I go bang. Right here, another one. And let's press play on this sequence. All right, so you get it. Go back to the... Pattern number three, and that orchestra hit's not there, and that crash is not there. Now we'll go to four. All right, cool. Now, let's see what we have on this key right here. Kind of like a little sweep. All right, I'm going to take pattern four, and I'm going to right click, copy that to pattern five, another empty pattern. Okay. Oh, let's go back. I want to copy. I want to go to five. I want to paste. All right. So now I have three patterns. I have three, pattern number three, which was the first empty pattern. It was just a kick, clap, hi-hat. Pattern four. All right, it's the kick, 
hi-hat, clap, orchestra hit, and crash on the one. And I'm going to go to five, and it's the same as four right now. But I'm going to add now. I'm going to add right here, because right here on this track, this uh, key right here is this, this snare. I'm, I'm going to hit it right here. Watch how this is going to sound. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Let's add a little swing to this track. Right here's the swing button. Too much. All right, cool. 